Hello everyone, my name is Joel Austin and I've been a pilot with Caribbean Airlines for just over nine years. What I love about my job is the airplane itself. I've always loved airplane engines and how airplanes maneuver and it's really interesting in a regular day to see it all come together. If I had to choose another career over this one, I wouldn't choose another career over this one because even though this is a very challenging profession, I still find it very exciting and very rewarding. The balance between personal and professional life has always been a challenge and will always be a challenge because schedules constantly change, nothing remains fixed. But it is something that will always have to be assessed and we as crew will always have to adapt. I would encourage anyone with even a small interest to do a familiarization flight. Most flight schools offer it and you can call them up, make an appointment, they will set up an interview and a session with an instructor. In the session with the instructor, they will teach you the basics of flight, show you a few things on the airplane, take you up, they will probably show you some maneuvers, and then you can decide if it piques your interest or not. That was the point when I decided I only wanted to be a pilot. Pilots need to develop many qualities, some of which come naturally to some personalities, but many of which can be developed. Good time management, for example. Time management is very important because on a regular day, issues pop up without notice and must be resolved within a reasonable time. Self-discipline and organizational skill. Because we work in a small space, it is very important to always stay organized so that nobody gets confused. Leadership. Leadership is a quality that comes naturally to many, but leadership is also a quality that can be developed. And pilots especially need to be able to understand the benefits and advantages of effective leadership, but also the consequences of poor leadership. There are many different types of pilots and many different types of pilot training, but commercial pilots typically start their training with a private pilot's license. After the private pilot's license, we do what's called an instrument rating, where we learn to understand, interpret, and depend on the instruments in the cockpit. Then we do a commercial pilot's license, and then a multi-engine rating. The multi-engine rating allows us to fly an airplane with more than one engine. The highest level of training that we can obtain, or pilots can obtain, is called an airline transport pilot's license which is what most airlines require that their pilots have for the position of captain.